Okay guys, hi! <laughs> I just got to the hotel, so it was not the best journey, uh, I'll be honest. I'm not feeling very well. I really hope that tomorrow I'm gonna feel good. But yeah, I am in New York and that's very, very exciting. And you know what? I'm just hoping <laughs> that I'm gonna get more excited. Um, once i feel better so yeah uh the room is very nice and cozy let me show you okay it's so weird that i'm starting uh to show you around from the shower but a uh, massive plus diptyque toiletries so so nice uh that's a massive thumbs up for me for this hotel and this is us and this is how we're looking I look like absolutely uh, I knew that but uh, you know what I just have to get my shit together and uh, just get ready you know and uh, let me just show you around quickly so yeah the room is very cute nice muted colors I think I'm gonna be very comfortable here so yeah guys so I am here in New York with Navitus Parfums. We are having so many events and I really, really hope to see you there. First in Philadelphia, second during the Sense Floor and third uh, in one of the New York boutiques. Uh, I am so, 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 so excited and truly hopeful that many of you guys are going to attend because I would love to meet you in person. So yeah, stay tuned for more co content. Content? Well, I didn't sleep at all for the last um, 24 hours, so don't mind me. But um, I'm just really, really hopeful that everything is going to go well. Uh, that I'm going to perform good and look good. You know, those under eyes after this journey. Ooh, girl. So I need to do some TLC tonight, definitely, to be ready for Philadelphia tomorrow. I have no idea why my camera is so blurry. Probably it's just dirty. Should have thought about it before, hey? Um, but whatever. Um, you know what? I think I might just take a shower and maybe rest a little. I have a meeting uh, very, very soon, so I'm, I'm gonna get ready for that. But uh, I definitely need to work on some content. I need to post a video tonight. I need to call my mom, call my partner and my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. And I need to definitely do something about the puffiness and the bags and the overall puffiness. Uh, by the way, guys, I don't think I've ever had a worse journey. You know, I'm very much used to long haul flights because I used to live in South Africa. So, you know, obviously I, would, I was so used to in very different conditions, trust me. But I just do not like Austrian Airlines. Ugh. I just don't like them. I just don't like them. And you know what? I'm not afraid to say that. Um, 
I just do not recommend Austrian Airlines at all. Like, at all. Uh, it was nine hour flight. And um, all you get is a small breakfast. Like, nothing special. Trust me. Um, you get no snacks. Like, nothing. And then, like an hour before we landed, which is like the ridiculous timing, like uh, an hour before landing, they gave us like a bun, like a small bun and uh, and some weird paste that I felt so nauseous after I, would, I, I went vomit, which is very TMI, but you know, don't say I didn't warn you, like, I know I'm very grumpy now and I'm very sorry. I don't know if I'm going to post it, but at least you see me super raw. Um, but it was not the best flight. It really wasn't. Like, you know, I would pay the same price for even a longer journey with Qatar Airlines and Emirates Airlines. And if you compare, it's like heaven and hell truly in terms of everything i really didn't like it and you know i'm not com i'm not it's not like i'm complaining or i'm just not grateful it's that i see the difference between the airlines it's so clear uh you know what i feel like year after year european airlines are getting worse and worse uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any other way to get here from Europe other than take the European airlines, obviously. Uh, but, you know, I, I really don't like traveling with European airlines, especially the Austrian ones. Uh, that was my second long haul flight with them. Uh, I flew with them once from South Africa and I didn't like it either. And this time, I think it was even worse. Like, they really don't care about the passengers uh, to the point that I bought myself uh, Wi-Fi access right before the flight for the full duration of the flight. And they would advertise it on my Lufthansa app. If you don't know, Austrian Airlines and Lufthansa are like um, together. They, you know, they mix each other. Um, and... Once I get on a plane, it turns out I have no internet access. What the hell? Like, I, I was like, if you know there is no internet on your Boeing, <laughs> on your plane, do not advertise it next to my boarding ticket. You know what I mean? Ridiculous. I just was so disappointed. What was it even? What was it? Like, I'm sorry, but Fly Emirates or Qatar Airlines would never have allowed that. Never. So, yeah. Even British Airlines, way better. 100 times better. So, yeah, guys. Um, that is it when it comes to my little complaints. Uh, now, I'm going to be way more positive from now on. But I just wanted to give you my two cents when it comes to the journey. Because, you know, it's not the best part of the whole experience to begin with. Like, obviously nobody likes to travel for like 12 hours, right? And to make it even that much more annoying, girl. Also, <laughs> oh, one more complaint. Also the Austrian airport, the worst, the worst. No facilities, um, no quiet zones, no smoking areas. It's not like I'm a smoker, but, you know, when I get stressed, I like to have my electronic cigarette, like Icos. And 90% of airports are... I, whoa, I almost dropped it. 90% of airports I travel through do have those, you know, Icos stations or at least like smoking lounges where you can go and have your icos there. Because I do have uh, my electronic cigarettes when I travel or, you know, when I'm super stressed. TMI, I know, but at least you're getting to know me, the real me. There was no smoking spot, 
nothing. Um, also, like, almost no chairs for people to sit at. Um, two little bars, like bars slash restaurants terrible just oh so annoying so annoyed with this whole journey guys i really didn't like it <laughs> but uh you know what i think from now on the experience is gonna be amazing because i am so over the moon with the fact that i'm going to meet the navitus team in person i'm gonna meet steven tomorrow i'm gonna meet aisha tomorrow and I'm going to see so many people at Sand Explore. Uh, I know that Demi Rowling is going to be there, uh, which I'm very, very excited about because I love that girl. She's so humble and so nice. And it's always nice to see her face. Uh, I don't know who else is going to be there. I know that Noel is going to be there. Um... Who else? Who else? I don't know who else. But you know what? It's gonna, it's gonna uh, turn up as we go. So I'm just hoping that you guys are gonna come. Because that would be so, so nice to see you. Truly, like, I would be so over the moon to be able to see you. So yeah, um, I'm gonna hop in a shower. And I think I'm gonna nap. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you later. <laughs> so I just came to Philadelphia for the perfumology event right here. Guys, it was so nice to meet you all. We're still there. I just uh, got out to get some fresh air, but uh, it's so lovely and the atmosphere is so, so family-like. So it's so nice. And here's a little snippet of Philly for you guys. I'm really hungry and Aisha is here as well from AI The Great and Steven. So um, I'm really hoping we're gonna eat something soon. I really hope so. <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted. So guys, we are at the perfumeology event in Philadelphia. Here's my girl. <laughs> I was just starting to I film. Was around. I was like, Where the yeah, you walked in like a supermodel. <laughs> so we're trying out all these beautiful fragrances. Here's the owner. Hello. Beautiful. We have Initio, we have Roja, we have Goldfield and Banks, we have Juice Box, Tamine, Amouage. Ormond Jane, all that good stuff, guys. And here's, of course, Navajo's Parfum. And the new baby right here, Lost in a Dream. And here's the newest collection of Viva Mod. Such a lovely community, guys. And here's Aisha, Ormond Jane. Here we have some Amouage and Vidian. I love Lupin, love it. If you can see my dresser right now, you'd be like, wow. Like, <laughs> Aisha, can you please say hi real quick? Hi! <laughs> How it's gonna go? 
I needed this and you know what I made it even worse yep that's what I did so yeah that's what we're having <laughs> but I deserve it I work hard okay I really like the totes and the saddle baggies and those ones. They're so pretty. I'm actually wearing a Givenchy, which is quite old, but everybody compliments me on it. So yeah, here I go. But I really like this one. Very, very pretty.
I thought this could only happen in Selena Gomez's uh, New York movie uh, But no, apparently not Yeah I'm experiencing New York full on <laughs> Okay Okay guys, good morning. There's no one here yet at the venue, so I'm just gonna show you around. While it's empty, here's our Navitus booth. Uh, we're still getting ready and unpacking the discovery set for you guys. So yeah, very, very exciting, but a lot of work, I must admit. This is how it looks from the front. Uh, there's my coat, so don't mind it. I'll take it away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the brand stations. This is Bracol Paris. This is like one of my absolute favorite niche brands ever. <laughs> I love them so, so much. And uh, I met them first in Milan and I've been a fan for years now. Actually, my favorite, which I really recommend, is Solaire. Then I love Ibiza Addiction, Farah, my all-time favorite. I also adore Noches de Nerola. I use the whole bottle in a month. Silly me. And what else can I recommend, you guys? Uh, Ambre Noir. Oh my god, amazing. So yeah, check out Braco. Lovely people, lovely brand. I love them. So let's move on. Uh, then we've got some fragrance Dubois, Noim, Kana, uh, what else, what else, uh, Nobile, uh, we've got this brand I actually do not know, I need to check them out, um, yeah, it seems quite unique, <laughs> so yeah, let's go further, uh, beautiful stands, what else do we have? Habibi. They're not unpacked yet. They're not here yet. See, I'm, I'm showing you firsthand how it looks before you all guys come in. Crazy, eh? Uh, then we have Amo Road, which I love. Beautiful fragrances, all based on oud, of course, but done in such a nice modern way. You cannot even smell like any skank, nothing. Just good, good. What do we have next? Uh, this brand, I do not know, so I need to check it out. Then we have Boho Boko, I love Boho Boko. Uh, Gilbert, I love you. So the, yeah, of course, I will always, always massively support them because they're Polish. So yeah, let's move on. I'm going to take you to the cafe. Um, 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 what? <laughs> um, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wash Cafe. Then we have Kajal. I love them as well. Very nice people. This is the actual entrance where people will start coming in. Uh, so yeah, this this is quite raw here. And then you get to the Amwash section. So this is Spirit of Dubai. Then we have some beautiful fragrances which I didn't even have time to check out. Spirit of Kings so gorgeous like guys i cannot of course sospiro i love sospiro we have the new erba oud bel canto all the good stuff guys all the good stuff oh these are all so pretty oh my god this is called raffaello i really need to check it out from pantheon roma then we have merchant of venice this is what a Algabra, need to check them out, don't know them. And uh, here is Mikelef. Uh, I, so you can see my shoesies. I'm very comfortable today. It's the second day I'm done. So yeah, Mikelef, you guys know, uh, I've been working with the brand a long time now. So here's the Amouage section. I think it's one of the biggest ones. So we have the new collection, the new releases. Uh, this is the kind of a classic shelf with the new uh, guidance and lineage release and uh, right here we have the newest dia 40 right here and jubilation 40 so yeah beautiful beautiful stand i must admit they've done such a beautiful job and uh, here we have the firminich lab kind of 
which is really really cool i love the concept that people can just come and you know sniff everything uh then we have the cafe which looks like this i didn't even have a chance to sit here and i probably will not so i can just admire it from the far and just be envious of people who are able to just sit and relax here <laughs> But here we have the Café Café, <laughs> the actual place where you get the coffee. So let me just have some latte and enjoy my day just a little bit. Hey guys, sorry I'm filming. All right. Would you like a coffee? Yes, the rose latte, please. Would you like a medium or a dark rose? Medium, please. Yeah, so we are all getting ready for the day and uh, this is the best rose coffee I've ever drank. Love it. I am also a little exhibitor this year. I am here with Navitus and I kind of have to say a few things about myself which are good. Look at the display. Look at the display with these little handies. <laughs> I am so proud of it. It looks so good. So, so good. So we have everything. We have the new ones from the girlies. There you go. We also have Kind Intentions. We have the collaboration with Victor D'Souza. And we have the newest one, From Me To You, which is Lost In A Dream. It's gonna be released in a couple of days, so stay tuned. And this is the newest Viva More collection. Guys, you will die. Caramel Pop and Choco Exclusive are the best gourmands ever. So this is a new one. This one's the Kamalian. It's called Caramel Pop. Told ya. It's like a salted caramel toffee popcorn. So we're at Sand Explore all ready to welcome you and here is the newest launch from Steven It's called Xenio Hi Steven! Hey, what's up Paulina? How you doing? You look busy, but can you just give me a second? I want to ask you what was the main inspiration behind your newest fragrance? I think the main inspiration behind it was we wanted something with strength, prowess, virility, endurance something resolute, something long-lasting. So when Max and I sat down to collaborate on this particular fragrance, we were thinking of a day like today, so a, poor, a cold New York City day, evening, in the tail end of fall, winter, and we wanted something a little bit on the heavier side of things. So of course we were dealing with single malt whiskey, Cuban Maduro tobacco, we also have some aromatic ingredients like clary sage and laurel and lavender to make it classy. And so we wanted something that captured the essence or ethos of being in kind of a, I don't like to call it a gentleman's lounge, but maybe like a jazz lounge, right? All are welcome. You're sipping a whiskey meat. You're just relaxing in a leather armchair. And so it's classy, it's refined, it's sophisticated. And the name Xenio means welcoming, inviting, or hospitable. So it's supposed to capture the attitude of what it's like attending an event like Sand Explorer, where everybody is just gathered under the same roof. We all have a common goal and we're all just very passionate about fragrances. Amazing. And are you excited or are you stressed to show it first to the world today? Um, yeah, a little bit of both. I think some people have already tried it and they got it in the mail and they provided me with their testimony. So. 
that's given me a little bit of reassurance that we didn't you know go completely off the rocker with this one but um i'm actually more excited than anything just because i know there's a lot to be explored and um as you can see on the table here there's tons and tons of creation so i don't think any one particular fragrance is going to be the star of the show i think it's going to be a really nice balance of different olfactory taste so we're trying to cater a little bit to everybody thank you so much steven and i hope we both have fun today i know we will sure. thank <laughs> you paulina No, hell, I saw that. <laughs> Guys, I am currently at my favorite niche brand from Poland. Boho Boko. I love these guys. I know I talk about them so, so much, but here's another beautiful display of Boho Boko. So clean, so chic. I absolutely love these fragrances, especially, you guys know. Sea salt caramel is the best and it's unwashable. So if you want something strong, you're gonna love this. Another one that I adore is Sandalwood Neroli. This is very unisex, but extremely fresh and easy to wear. Another one that's absolutely beautiful and it's a classic. My mom wears it all the time. It's coffee white flowers. So beautiful. It's kind of like a way better version of black opium. If you like black opium, you will love this one. So that's that and of course we've got the wet cherry liquor which is like a very boozy cherry with strawberry to it almost like overripe strawberry so you're gonna love it so yeah check it out check out boho boko gorgeous people behind the brand say hi guys thank you so so much for having me okay guys this is the end of the day of the beautiful event here in New York and this is the last brand I want to introduce you to and this is called Day Free. This is a family owned business. This is the whole family here with us. <laughs> so guys, I'm absolutely in love. Uh, you know, in my iris phase, I'm looking for the best iris possible. And here it is, Silent Rescue. This is the doubled up Oris Butter Heaven. Uh, this La Tacita de Café actually won the award, so I definitely recommend you guys check it out. It's so, so worth having. Actually, Sebastian also talks about this brand on his channel. Lemar is actually the first fragrance that I tried, and this is so fizzy and citrusy and marine. Very, very good coconut scent. So yeah, guys, definitely check out Day Free. It is a family-owned brand, and you guys, I know I support family-owned brands for so long, so yeah. behind the scenes oh thank you I just caught it on the camera so now it's the evidence that you have to do that <laughs> but yeah guys we are here with Max 40 we're here with Chris Carbonell and Steven and we are shooting our interviews for the new releases one of which is Zinho that was just introduced at Scent Explore Look at this fabulous.
fabulous lady holding my fragrance. Thank you so much, darling. Welcome to Oswald and I see with Noel. <laughs> Let me spray some, some of that magic thing on me. Okay. <laughs> Steven. Paulina, how are yeah. you doing? Um, um, I think I feel the same as you. Yeah, I think we're both tired. <laughs> and here we go. This is the event. You see this? You need this, okay? Oh yeah, spray away baby, spray away. And that's like a quarter of what I usually do, okay? Of course. Thank you. Now steal it. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi Paulina. What are you doing? Uh, I've been spraying this fragrance. Do you know this fragrance? You know someone is peeing and I just wanna get my coat from there. Thank you. 